Greetings to all the UPSC civil service aspirants. We at Gallant IAS have launched a zoology optional from the year 2023. How good is zoology as an optional? While the time I have been preparing for UPSC civil services, I have always encountered my peers and myself as a student as to how good or valid zoology as a subject is. I do come from a medical background and even then I was afraid of going ahead with zoology as a paper or optional for my UPSC civil service it means examinations. However, as of now, once I have come down the years and I have started mentoring my peers or people or students or aspirants in regards to their UPSC civil service preparations, I will definitely say that zoology is a great optional to go ahead with your UPSC civil service mains examination. Let us examine the merits of taking up zoology as an optional for your UPSC civil service examinations. The major contribution or the major factor for taking up zoology for your examinations as an optional will be it has a static syllabus that means the syllabus is well defined it's not changing it's dynamic it's not dynamic so whatever the questions do come in it it is within the confines of the syllabus that has been set by the UPSC for the year also questions asked in zoology are pretty straightforward so it is easy to decipher what the in the examiner is asking you for so it is pretty clear how your answer needs to be framework upon and how it has to be written in the examination sheets. So anyone or any candidate who writes up legibly and clearly with supporting diagrams or depictions will definitely score pretty good marks in zoology as an option. Also, studying zoology or taking up zoology as an optional for your means also helps you in preparing for your prelims as it is because certain topics in zoology like ecology, evolution and economic zoology do take up portions of science and technology which contribute towards your UPSC prelims examinations as well. Now, the question that you might all be having is that can anyone take zoology up or is there any restriction set by the UPSC? The UPSC does not by any default set any restriction on any candidate from taking up zoology as an option. However, as it's a technical subject, it is decided that candidates who are taking up zoology as an option do have certain understanding of the concepts so that it is easier for them to write the answers in a simple manner. Now, once you have decided to take up zoology as an option, what you need to do to score well or clear your UPSC means examination. The first and foremost step is to go through the syllabus of the UPSC zoology paper. The zoology paper is divided into two as in other optionals, paper 1 and paper 2. The paper 1 mostly is contributed by animal kingdom, economic zoology, ecology and uh, human physiology. Then again, there are biostatistics and bioinstrumentation coming. In paper 2, most of the chunk of the paper is contributed by genetics, evolution, embryology and ethology per se and biochemistry and cell biology. Now, once you go through the syllabus for the zoology paper, you need to identify your areas of strength and weaknesses. There are certain chapters which you might be thorough with or you might have an understanding with and certain chapters which might be difficult for you. For example, if I was going through the papers for UPSC zoology and if I am going to choose zoology for my option, I would certainly mark biochemistry as a weak topic for me, whereas for me, ecology and evolution and genetics will be a strong point. So, once you have identified your areas of strengths and weaknesses, you need to design a plan as to how you are going to allocate your time for the study of these topics. Also, once you are visualizing the syllabus, you will also see certain areas, for example in paper 1, there are biostatistics and bioinstrumentation which are easier to grasp and which are high scoring compared to the other topics. So you need to spend little amount of time on these topics but you can gain maximum marks from these subjects. In paper 2, biochemistry is a relatively simple topic because you have the leisure of depicting flowcharts and diagrams and gaining better marks rather than writing a complete theory. Now, once you have gone through this step, the next 
aspect is going to collect material and resources for your study. The study plan, I would say, is to be divided into two sections. The first step is to build your basic foundation or clear your concepts for zoology per se. For this, I would highly recommend going through NCRT class 11 and class 12 textbooks. And you can also refer to Wiley's textbook for NEET medical examinations. It's an excellent book to clear concepts in regarding to zoology. Once the basic concepts of foundation has been cleared, it's time to move on to other standard textbooks which have been prescribed for zoology. When you research on internet, you will find that there are a lot of textbooks and a lot of literature available in the market which cater to the needs of UPSC zoology. However, there are certain textbooks which are considered as Bible while preparing for UPSC zoology like for vertebrates and invertebrates, Harold Kotpal's book is considered a world favorite. Also, there is P.D. Sharma's Ecology and Rina Mathur's Ecology which is considered classic and has to be gone through by every candidate. However, there is a drawback with collecting resources as well. Most of these textbooks are not commercially available in the market and it can be rather time consuming and cumbersome and expensive to source these textbooks from online sources or from second hand shops. That is where we do come in. We at Gallant IAS have designed our syllabus in such a way that we have correlated almost all the topics from all the available literature sources in the market, be that from NCRTs, be that from standard textbooks, and we have designed a syllabus for you which caters or to or which is an articulation with the UPSC's syllabus for zoology option. So what we are trying to put across here is that with our syllabus of study materials, you will save time and you will be helped in using this time for other activities in regards to your studies. Because as we all know, in terms of UPSC, the major factor or the hurdle that candidates face is answer framing and time management. With our study materials and our course directions and our methodology of study, or teaching that we encounter or we do in gallons, we make sure that all the concepts are gathered together and are presented to you in a simplified form to our study materials. We do the hard work for you by collating all the materials and it's up to you to utilize them in an efficient way and present them in the answer papers. We do also provide online and offline coaching classes and we do conduct repeated answer writing sessions to aid you with time management of your answer writing. Also, mock tests are conducted on a regular basis to understand your understanding of the concept or to gauge your position in regards to the subjects that are taught in the institution. So, in case you have any constraints or in case you have any questions regarding taking up zoology as an option or in case you want to enroll with us with our program for zoology for UPSC civil service examination, you can always reach out to us through the contact details that have been provided in the description or you can also use the social media handles of our institution and reach out to us. We will be glad to have you on board and answer any of your queries that you have regarding the syllabus or the zoology optional per se. Thank you.